He was 98 years old. He was lying there in the nursing home and he wouldn't talk. The nurses, they would ask him questions like, what is your name? How old are you? Where are you from? Tell me about your family. Not a sound. So they turned to me and they said, Dr. Gooderson, can, can you help this, this elderly gentleman? He's anxious, he doesn't talk, he gets agitated. So sometimes the work of a psychiatrist is not all that complicated. So I called up his, his daughter and I said to her, what, what kind of music does he like? And she said, well, he used to love Bob Dylan, blowing in the wind. So I went up to him, right up to his ear, and I sang, how many roads must a man walk down before you can call him a man? I did that because, as we all know, music, song, is the language of the soul. We don't forget songs. They evoke incredible, strong emotions in us. We find ourselves crying as we li listen to music, dancing, moving all around, joining with other people arm in arm dancing with our wives, dancing with our husbands. He opened his eyes and he sang, the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. And from there, every day the nurses, instead of filling his mouth with medication to help his cognition or to help his anxiety, they simply would sing, sing with him. And he would sing with them because music, song is the language of the soul.